Okay, we're ready to get it up on the scale and do the weight and balance. We've got the wings hanging on it. Uh, top cowl just laying here because we're going to run it after we do this. We'll take it back apart on the other side of the wall into the hangar and wait for some better weather. But uh, So we're going to turn the scales on. We're going to roll it up onto the scales and then Steve's going to raise the tail onto the scale. We'll get the empty weight, no pilot, and then Steve will climb in and we'll get that with the pilot. So this is the form we're going to use, real simple. Um, I'll send you one of these, email it to you if you let me know. It's just the model, the builder, the serial number and the date. This is empty aircraft, no fuel. Then there's another one that I'll fill out for the empty aircraft, I'm sorry, aircraft, no fuel with a pilot. And we'll get all these numbers again. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about how those balance out. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get the scales lit up and we'll get it rolled up on there. It's pretty hard to do this by yourself unless you've got scales that don't time out like ours do. But you can use bathroom scales. It's just how accurate do you want it to be is the biggest thing. Ready? Ready. 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 There. Set on the scales, we know it's level because we, we did that before. I'll record the weights. Steve's about 182 pounds or so, so the scale should change by that same amount. We'll let him get settled in so it's not moving around. We'll record again. Okay, climb back out. Now we'll put these numbers together and we'll go over a little bit on the, the next video about what the numbers mean, how you can adjust them, how with just one pilot weight we can do some calculations to get the, the minimum pilot weight, the maximum pilot weight, and all that. So we'll be back.